Peace, Busara. Whoa. Y yes. Wh who's asking? What is this? Who's making it talk? It. Tread carefully, human. We're here to... I don't know what tricks you're pulling, Butcher, but I'm not going down without a fight. No Butcher here. I'm a real, bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never! <sighs> I tried. Listen, Peace. How do you do this? Talk? A little book called The Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... this is... this is crazy. Calmed down yet? Ugh. Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. He's currently learning to stop underestimating me. Well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time. Got some planetary mess to take care of first. Why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free, then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. Uh-huh. Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenczi? Hmm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. As soon as you untie me, kitty. Greetings, biped. Up to the left, then. Up to the right, then. Up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. What was that singing about? Oh, just directions to Grandma's house. I have bad, bad memory, but strong legs. <laughs> right. Tell me about your grandma. Grandma has very bad varicose veins. She does. All the doggies snap at them. They think they're sausages. <laughs> Lovely. What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. It used to be an astromo. Uh, astrono. Astronomer? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you look at stars to hit me. Right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron let me move in here and play with planets if I guard the gate. Hatches everywhere we go. Hatches. Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I guard the gate. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Oh, I'm not allowed to tell little kitty cat. Baron says uh, no one allowed. Uh, only they look for it down there. All right, I've heard enough. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, big bat. Sure.
In your face, humans! I've been enjoying this, but I guess I'll be untying you two now. Please tell me what is going on here. All right, let's take it from the top. So this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in. Thus yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? Uh, I'm sorry for doubting you. Also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you too, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already. And it seems he got what he was looking for. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Ferenci. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Looks like... wings? Oh my god, that's just like in the legend! Precisely. You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings, that's what they got away with. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. Dragon wings? Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need them for? They do call him the Butcher, so I can only assume the worst. Oh, right. No end to the work? What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. It's... it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon. And it literally has no end. Yet. Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. So wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. <laughs> like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's Kitty's then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. The other. Almstein is not like us. You think or you know? Neither. I believe. Uh, never mind. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Sorry, I guess. How 
How did you get past Vlad and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what happened going on underneath them. So what's her next... Wait a minute, my, my phone's ringing, but we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Don, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? I've been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element! Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here, one sec. A terrible storm, and three bells ringing throughout it shall awaken the beast. A terrible storm. This freak temp is a Hurricane Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found that. So we look for a third one, huh? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. <laughs> well, is it? Oh, well, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. Shall Awaken the Beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little, true. Yeah, I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen, for better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the Butcher's left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth? Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. Ugh. You and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into fish with stinking guts. Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. <laughs> <laughs>